Uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm, I don't share the same sentiment. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah, dude, it's Anderson Silva. Like, uh, he's, he's, he's literally one of the greatest combat sports athletes of all time. And he's fighting my brother. So, as his, as his brother, to be honest, I don't love, I don't love the fight. It's, it's, it's too dangerous. As someone who believes in Jake Paul, on the other hand, I love it. I think it's perfect for him. I think it's totally on brand with what he's been doing, which is proving everyone wrong every single time. And like, he's he's biting off a lot. He's biting off a lot. Silva's a he's a dog, you know. He's a goon. Um, we're gonna see what Jake Paul's made out of. Oh, so Anderson's what 47? Yeah, 47. So age is age is the big one. Like, I don't I don't care what kind of shape you're in at 47 years old. You're 47 years old. Whoa. I'm care. almost 47 years old. What are you trying to say about my physique? I'm saying you're frail. I'm saying you're withering. <laughs> I'm saying I can see Mike day by day. He's 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 withering. It's he's not he, wrong. He's it's falling not apart. Wrong. His limp gets worse every single day. <laughs> it's like he, he my has, leg he, or my dick. He has, he, he has gout and limp dick. <laughs> Blue chew. Blue chew. Blue chew. Blue chew. Blue chew. Great hair though, great hair. But he has great hair, he has great hair. It looks great. You know, it's all natural. Yeah, bro, I mean, what's up? Outside of that though, a lot of people feel that your brother has a good chance to knock him out. Like, I mean, he's gonna knock him out, but like, yeah, but like... What round? Silver's not gonna make it easy. So, I don't know, three? Fuck it. <laughs> That's gonna be a good fight, man. I'm uh, I'm really curious to see uh, um, his performance, man. I think this is gonna be the toughest fight Jake had. Jake is my fucking brother, dog. I'll ride with him forever. I am friends with the family of, of Anderson and all that stuff. So, but Anderson's old, man. But he he fucking shows up still, man. He's fought some really credible fighters, um, and uh, he's definitely not someone to sleep on. So, and I, and I know Jake knows that. I know he's a, uh, Jake knows he's a great fighter. He knows his his, uh, his legacy and all that stuff. He's definitely not taking this this lightly. So he's gonna work his ass off. Jake is hard, man. I've been in the ring with him, and then he fucking he he fucking pieced me up, or he gave me a run for my money, dog. And uh, he he hits hard as fuck. I'm gonna tell you that. So, um, I don't know, man. I'm uh, i I'm, I'm I'm gonna stick with Jake. I think Jake will win it. Um, but this is definitely his, his uh, it'd be finally a credible fight for him. And I think he's been fighting credible fighters honestly this whole time, whether they're they're older, or they're a little retired now, whatever. He's still fighting real fighters, man. You got to give credit where credit is due. But uh, but I think Jake will take it, man. Do you think he knocks him out? I think he does, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. That would yeah. be crazy. Knocks yeah. out Anderson Silva. That would be, that would be crazy, man. You know, nothing but love and, and respect for Anderson. I, I, I got nothing but love for him, but I, I think so, man. I think so. Hey, you know, you, you mentioned uh, that part of the book. He has this fight uh, against Anderson Silva, and I just got to ask because it, yeah. it's going to happen next weekend. Overall, what do you think about it, man? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not putting too much thought into it. Um, I think Anderson Silva is obviously really high level compared to myself, and he's bigger than me. So I th I really think it could go either way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, I've I mean, heard... betting odds say too. Betting odds are relatively close. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, but it's like people just bring up how Anderson's looked in the last two boxing fights, and, and the good, fact right? that it's yeah, and the fact it that it's good. Anderson Silva. That's what I'm saying. You know? I just said that. He's really yeah. Good. Ah, but a lot of I don't know. I, I feel like in general people are just like, there's no way this guy can beat uh beat Anderson Silva. There's no yeah. way. Well, we'll see. I didn't, I didn't think he could beat me, and I didn't think he could beat Tyrant, and he did those things. So, yeah, you never know. I do. I do have strong feelings for this fight. I will share with you. Uh, I do not think Jake Paul is going to knock him out, mm -hmm. and I think that that would really affect people that are watching this. If they knew for sure if there was a magic wand, and you, and you knew this fight was going to happen, you knew Jake wasn't going to knock him out, it would change your opinion. Jake counts on that. Jake's a powerful guy. Jake connects with people. I don't think it's going to happen with Anderson. If he does connect, I don't think he's going to put the spider down. I'll, I'll make that prediction for you. Uh, breakdown. There's this fight coming up. Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. I know the whole MMA world is pulling for Anderson, but you know Jake's improved a lot. Break the fight down. What do you think about it? I mean, I think it's a dangerous fight for him. I mean, he's got nothing to lose. I mean, it's Anderson Silva, so, so <laughs> really nothing to lose. But you know, I, I mean, that's dangerous. Danger Anderson's still powerful, still sharp. I mean. And he's a striker, you know. And you had some good luck with some guys that were wrestlers that tried to strike. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're okay. Like, one thing, you have okay striking in MMA, and the other had okay striking for MMA. Yeah. But only because you had to worry about him taking you down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about him taking you down. It's really hard to land those big bombs. But Anderson is a, is a striker, and he's been... Concentrating on boxing, he looked great in his last couple of fights. Well, yeah, knocked out Tito and then beat Chavez Jr. Tito's not my fight, but Chavez Jr. is <laughs> a Chavez Jr. is 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 a Chavez Jr. is
That's a dangerous fight. I'm surprised, but I mean, I, I think they have, they at least think that that, or maybe they think they need something that really people are interested in, because I've had so many calls about it. Like, I, oh, yeah? I got no, usually don't get any about the, their, their fights. People mm -hmm. already contact me. I've had a bunch of my friends, are we going to watch this one? Are we going to watch this one? Are you going to watch this? Are you going to watch it? So yeah. people are excited about it. I mean, it's interesting. So it's an interesting fight, and I'm, I'm open there's to get paid really well for it. I'm, well, that's great. I mean, I'm mean, Anderson's tough though, man. And, I mean, Jake's a tough kid. Look, he's he's, he's got knock real knockout power. You know, and he's and he, I'm bound for a guy that picked up how long how long we start boxing? Like three years ago. Three years ago. So, but it's different when you you fight a striker if it's been striking his whole life. There's that whole that the, the timing, there's that yeah. little play. There's, I don't know. Like, I I just I don't see it. But maybe. Maybe I'm not seeing something because I know I know his camp. They're pretty smart, and mm -hmm. they think maybe they think they see something in Anderson. They think he's over they the hill. Think. They think he's yeah, but but you still got to catch it, mm -hmm. and he's hard to hit, and um, and he hits hard. I mean, it's a dangerous fight. I don't give a shit what Jake Paul's doing. <laughs> yeah, let me know, bro. <laughs> give me your feelings on that. What do you Jake do? Paul, you should go to MMA. Oh, fight, yeah. fight Silva, fight Anderson Silva. Yeah, he's ready. Anderson's ready to box him. How does that go? Anderson will beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I think Anderson. I think Anderson will smash him. No, and then and, and here's the reality. You know, the warlock is not a fucking promoter. Okay, this guy is. You know, he said in a quote the other day, "I'm proud of him." You're proud of him? What are you, his fucking father? I bet he's not proud of you. What did you fucking do? Jake Paul needs to hook up with a real guy who can get shit done. The Warlock was a fucking account. Listen, the Warlock will save him a shitload of money on his taxes. That's about it. He needs to get a real fucking guy. He, he should be, I mean, if you look at all the greats that were out there from Don King, Bob Arum's a scumbag. I fucking hate him, but he's one of the all-time greats. Hey, but he wants to be... He, he's done an olive branch thing. He doesn't want oh, to Oh, yeah, yeah. He wants to fuck, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. He wants to make uh, fury and he's, I, But I cannot deny he's one of the all-time greats. You got Frank Warren, one of the all-time greats. Eddie Hearn. You know, there, there, there's a lot of guys out there that would do the Jake Paul thing. Jake Paul needs to align himself with one of those guys and get away from the fucking warlock. He's a fucking accountant. Just because you worked at the UFC doesn't mean you know how to put on fucking fights. Hey, I'm done. Yeah. You got my Jake Paul. What people don't realize is Jake Paul is in the damn gym every day. He's not blowing weed. He's not out drinking and banging chicks. This man is dedicated to his craft, and he keeps getting better and better and better. Y'all gonna put some respect on his name. Anderson Silva is the GOAT. Nothing negative to say about him, but... Jake Paul hits too hard, and he's a lot faster. What beats speed is timing. What beats timing and speed is power. Jake Paul possesses all three of them. Good timing, good speed, and he's young. The odds are, I just don't see what Silva's going to do. I think Silva's going to get finished. I think the ref's going to stop it. Because he's a warrior, but Jake Paul's a, a savage, man. That guy's trains. I've, I've had guys in his camp. I've worked with uh, MVP. I've seen how they move. Jake Paul is truly dedicated to his craft. And then I'll shout to go out to Jake Paul because he's, he's for real. So obviously we've seen Anderson Silva's boxing is immense. Yeah. Like, it's amazing. Uh, same, same, him, same with Jake Paul. Jake Paul's boxing is really good too. So uh, it's going to definitely be an interesting one. Very interesting. Yeah. But... I got Jake yeah. winning that one. I got Jake winning that one, honestly. Why? He's got youth on his side, man. And, yeah. Paul Anderson Silva, what's your reaction? Um, I don't know, really. I mean, I don't know much about that world. I mean, I know Anderson Silva is, is he 50 yet? Or he's about to turn 50, 49 or something like that. So, but he's uh, shown that he's capable with, with, uh, in the boxing game. Obviously, a, a legend in the MMA sport as well. I think it's a good opponent. I think uh, it's intriguing. It's it's not a boxer, which I guess was the, you know, the stigma that and and the, you know, the um, the criticism that Jake faces a lot. But at the same time, he's a man that's familiar with combat sports. He can definitely box, and I think it's I think it's an, it's an intriguing matchup. Do you think it's a more dangerous fight than what Rahman would have been? 
No, I don't. I think that Rackman is, is a much younger guy. You know, Tommy Fury as well. I mean, the Hasim Rackman and Tommy Fury, they're not going to go on and, and achieve in the boxing world, but they can box. They have had a number of professional boxing matches. They are boxers. Um, but that being said, you know, Anderson Silva, you've seen him in a couple of boxing matches on on this YouTube scene, if you want to call it that, or crossover scene. And he's shown that he's capable. So I don't, I don't see it as as tough as one of the younger, fresher guys. But he's definitely a strong man, a proud man. And, you know, I think I think Jake will beat him comfortably. But I think it, it's OK. It, it's just like he's a weirdo. He's weird for what he did and how he went about it. And, um, you know, things that he said, things that his, pe his people have come out and said and done. And it's just like I, I'm really seeing how they move. But... He's going. He, he's eventually going to get exposed. There's no getting around that. So, you know, uh, I'm still here. My door's still open to go ahead and be the one to expose him. But he got to handle Anderson Silva come whatever day they fight. I think October something. What do you think about that fight, man? Do you like it? Like, well, what are your honest thoughts a, on him fighting Anderson? It's an interesting fight because yeah. uh, you know Anderson is, has experience in the ring and he's been hit hard. And um, I don't know if that's an element that Jake's going to bring to the table. So. Um, he's he's boxed. He's outboxed the world champion in Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But he does come from the MMA background. So with Jake have been practicing boxing steadily, steadily, steadily for so long, that's what makes it interesting. But um, you know they're both gonna have their hands full. Uh, Jake is young. He's he's, he's got a, a good gas tank supposedly, and um, uh, Anderson Silva's got to come ready. He's got to come ready like he's fighting a young lion. And um, He's done that before, so we're going to see you when they fight. Who do you feel style-wise is more inclined to win? Uh, if it goes the distance, Silva. If it's, I really kind of got to favor Silva in both departments because he's, he's, shown, he's shown more. But, you know, I, I just I, I want to see it. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be an interesting fight. You're rooting for Anderson, right, based on what happened? I mean, I'm trying to fight Anderson too, so it don't matter who wins. <laughs> whoever wins, I'll fight the winner. And, and uh, whoever loses, I'll fight the loser too. I'll be, I'll, this whole crossover boxing, this whole everybody getting mixed up uh, uh, in, in this social media wave in boxing is, is interesting to me, and I'm going to put, put my name at the top of it. Shut it all down. You know what? Silva, he has that combat experience, you know, maybe not in boxing, but I think he has one fight. Correct, right? That's correct. Against Chavez Jr. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. Didn't he beat Chavez? He put in work yeah, on Chavez yeah, Jr. Yeah, so you know, you never know. It's just Jake Paul. He's been, um, I think, he has a little bit more experience in the boxing ring, of course. So, and he's on a he's on a good path. From what I hear, he's uh he's growing and growing and growing and taking it serious. From everybody I hear, from everybody, he's taking it serious. So. You know, maybe he's gonna show off again. You know, he's gonna do his job again. But you know, you can't count out Silva. Silva's a champion in his own sport, of course. But I, I don't, I don't doubt like a knockout from him either. How good do you think that uh, Jake Paul has been, in particular, for boxing uh, since he's been in the sport? Um, I guess he's a lot of people saying that he brings in different fans. I think the fans he brings is more for him. You know, those YouTubers or whatever they are, they come to watch him. It's like if Justin Bieber was to come box. Justin Bieber will bring Justin Bieber fans, and they're just gonna watch Justin Bieber. That's all. But uh, maybe he does bring in fans. Maybe maybe he does. We'll see what he does with boxing, you know. Because right now it, it, it looks like a circus, but he's doing his thing. He's getting the wins, you know. Props to him. Jake Paul and uh, Anderson Silva. How do you see it? Man, I don't know. This is a, this is a good test, striking wise, for Jake. But at the same time, man, Anderson he he's one of the goats. He is the goat of mixed martial arts. Um, stylistically, he's always been a very big inspiration to me. Um, just skill set wise, you know, the jujitsu, the kickboxing, the striking, the putting your hands down, the showboating. It's very entertaining. So uh, to see him stepping into the boxing world towards the end of his career and, and really solidifying himself as one of the goats of all well rounded strikers, um, I think it's, it's dope. And then for Jake, you know what I mean? It's, it's a first real test. It's a first real test, um, but at the same time, man, Anderson Chin been touched a lot, you know what I mean? So it, it's, can Anderson rock this dude and get him out of there, and can Jake get him out of there, you know what I mean? One of the most impeccable defense fighters, he's just, the dude is phenomenal, you know what I mean? So it's going to be interesting. Honestly, I'm excited to see that. That's what, December, right? Yeah, I uh, know. 
I think in October, end of October, October 29th in Arizona. Oh, so this is going around the corner. I, I might have to pull up to that. <laughs> Would it surprise you if either one gets knocked out? No. <laughs> no. No. Honestly. <sighs> Man. See. One thing I will have to be honest with that my father is very correct about is that youth, man. That youth is something different, you know. So uh, Anderson, you know, Jake's chin hasn't really been touched, touched like that. So uh, I think it's going to get touched a few times in this one. But can he fire back and give, and give Anderson something is going to be the key. Because if, if he touches Anderson on the chin, but Anderson got 8, 10 seconds to get back up. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of factors going in here. But... Uh, I'd have to go Jake, man, but obviously I'm rooting for the GOAT Anderson all day. Eddie told me Anderson, he feels Anderson beats Jake. 100%. 100%. I, you yeah, agree too? 100%. And when, when I, I, I was, Jake came to my uh, improv show, he's in the green room. This is when he's calling out Bisbee. Yeah. And I say, hey, let me talk to you. Like, <laughs> let me talk to you. Yeah. Quit calling out Bisbee. Like, yeah. that's not the move, dude. Like, Bisbee has one eye, first of all. Yeah. And he's retired, dude. Like, he's not currently fighting. So, I don't know if you're looking for validation. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, you, 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 let's say you, you say you're not, but let's say you are, that ain't the route to go. Like, Bisping's a legend, dude. Like, we all love him. He has one eye. He's moved on with his life. Go for, If you really want that validation, go for Anderson Silva. He just beat Julio Chavez Jr. Who's, Julio Chavez Jr. is like 15-3. Like, he's not his dad. Still multi-time world champion. No, nobody's his dad. Kind of washed now, but... Yeah, but still. But still, Anderson but Silva beat him. Champion, like, do you think Jake beats Julio Chavez Jr.? Like, a, like a full camp. No, a full camp. version of Jr., yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's interesting. Junior's not junior anymore. I don't he was junior I, back. Uh, yeah, and I've, I covered uh, junior like ten years. He, junior's not the same when he was with Freddie Roach. He's not the same. Agree, when, agree. He's, well, he's not, think Freddie kicked him out of his camp because he was wouldn't show up for train camp smoking weed. Weed, weed cereal. Yeah, yeah every morning. nuts. Yeah. nuts. Yeah. And your dad's arguably the greatest of all time, especially with my girl's Mexican. You, my girl, my girl's Mexican. Yeah. So. You, that's that's Bible in my house. I can't say, you know, they say it's either Canelo or him. I'm like, yeah. well, all right, you know. Anderson's the man then. Uh, it, Anderson's a tough fight for Jake. Man. Anderson can fucking box. Remember, Anderson can box so much, mm -hmm. they were going to do a fight with him, him and Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. Before, and, in his prime yeah. before, you know, Dana could put the kibosh on. You know, Anderson has had a, good, a great experience, not just MMA, but he's really good boxing. You know, it's going to be a great match. Um... I think it's going to be a little bit hard for Jake, Jake Paul, you know, but I, I see he's doing great too. Uh, let's see, have the age too, but you know, Anderson Silva's have a lot of experience, so probably the experience is going to be a little, a little better there. I don't know. Do you think he knocks him out or, or do you think they go 12 rounds? Uh, maybe, maybe I think Anderson going to go all the rounds. Yeah, yeah I believe. Oh, wow. Yes, I, I don't know. Let's see. A lot of people uh, would think that uh, Anderson, uh, or at least they want to see Anderson knock him out. You know, I, I really support Jake Paul. I think he's not just doing the box fights. He's, okay, people say he's a YouTuber doing the box, but you really stand up for the MMA fighters. He's really talk about payday. He's really talk a lot of good things for change the sport, and they really support what he's doing. And I hope he's doing the great, you know, great fight, you know, and against Anderson Silva. It's going to be great. I mean, listen, Jake Paul's already kind of established himself as the preeminent influencer boxer, boxer in that space. Um, and I think, if he, I think if he takes out one of the greatest combat sports athletes of all time, there's just no, there's no, I don't think there's a debate there right now, but I think if he does this, it shuts everybody up. There's no more, there's no more discussion, no more debate, no more question. Is he a real boxer? Is he a real fighter? If he takes out Anderson, the spider Silva in the ring, it's, it's, it's a wrap, you know, and he solidifies himself as a true combat sports athlete. Man. Honestly, you know, at some point, I think the Jake Paul, the Jake Paul one, I, I, I would want to do. Um, you know, he's a guy from Cleveland. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Battle of Ohio, I think that'd be a big thing. That'd be a big thing. I feel like, you know, I think once it makes sense, you know, what I'm saying, I, I feel like I showcase my skill. I showcase I'm worthy to step in the ring with anybody. So, you know, I feel like he gonna show himself against Silva. You know, wherever, however that goes, he gets a win. I feel like that's a fight that I feel like I want to do. You know, what I'm saying, um, but I'm open for anybody. You know, what I'm saying, Darren Williams is another one. Darren Williams, he had a fight. He fought Frank Gore last year. He beat Frank Gore, beat a uh, running back. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can take on another running back. You know what I'm saying? NBA guy versus NFL guy. There's a whole bunch of guys and fights out there. Just line them up, I'll knock them down. It really don't matter. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow 
online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.